profound shift in global power began with the fall of the Roman Empire in 476 AD, an event that marked the end of ancient Rome's dominance. The Roman Empire, once the pinnacle of civilization, had its foundations shaken and shattered, its grandeur fading into the annals of history. This monumental collapse echoed far beyond the boundaries of Rome, sending ripples of change across the continents, shaping the political, social and cultural landscapes of Western civilization. The mighty Rome, with its vast territories, had been the beacon of stability and prosperity. Its fall marked the commencement of the Middle Ages, a period that would shape the course of history in remarkable ways. As kingdoms rose and fell, societies evolved and cultures intermingled, the Middle Ages became the crucible of transformation, birthing a new world from the ashes of the old. As the ancient world crumbled, it paved the way for a new era, the Middle Ages, a time of profound transformation. Fast forward to 1066, the Battle of Hastings, a pivotal conflict that forever altered the course of English history. Imagine the scene. William the Conqueror, a powerful leader from Normandy, stands ready for combat, staring across the battlefield at King Harold II of England. The tension is palpable, the stakes are high. As the battle rages, it's clear that this is more than a simple conflict of swords and shields. This is a battle of wills, of strategy, and of ambition. Ultimately, it's William's forces that emerge victorious, a triumph that brings with it significant political and cultural changes. You see, this victory doesn't just mark the end of a battle, it sets the stage for the future of England, shaping its political landscape and cultural identity. It's a testament to the power of ambition and strategy, permanently altering the landscape of England. In 1215, a document was signed that would become the bedrock of constitutional law, the Magna Carta. This remarkable piece of parchment, bearing the seal of King John of England, was far more than mere ink and paper. It was a bold declaration, a statement of principles that would shape the rule of law and governance worldwide. The Magna Carta introduced the world to the concept of limited government, asserting that not even a king was above the law. It championed individual rights, setting a precedent for the freedoms we hold dear today. This document, born in a time of political turmoil and social unrest, has endured its influence echoing through the centuries. From the halls of power to the quiet confines of a courtroom, its principles continue to guide our understanding of justice and liberty. The Magna Carta, a beacon of individual rights and limited government, forever changed our understanding of law and governance. A period of cultural and intellectual rebirth known as the Renaissance graced Europe from the 14th to the 17th centuries. As if awakening from a long slumber, the human spirit ignited with a newfound zest for knowledge and creativity. With the shackles of the Dark Ages cast aside, the Renaissance emerged as a beacon of enlightenment, its light touching every corner of society. Art bloomed with the likes of Michelangelo and da Vinci, their masterpieces still revered today. Literature was revolutionized, with Shakespeare and Dante penning works that would echo through the ages. Science took great strides, with thinkers like Galileo and Copernicus daring to challenge long-held beliefs. Philosophy, too, flourished, as humanism put the individual at the heart of the Renaissance thought. This period was more than a mere chapter in history. It was a seismic shift in human consciousness that reshaped the world. The Renaissance, a time of awakening, left an indelible mark on the world, fostering a thirst for knowledge and progress. The 15th to 17th centuries ushered in the Age of Exploration, a period that expanded the horizons of the known world. This epoch was a grand theatre of discovery, where European explorers and navigators ventured into uncharted waters and distant lands. The audacious journeys of these explorers, from Columbus to Magellan, brought about a revolution in our understanding of the world. Their voyages led to the establishment of colonies in far-flung corners of the globe setting the stage for the first wave of globalization. New trade routes emerged, connecting different continents and cultures, and sparking a vibrant exchange of goods, ideas, and traditions. This was a time that transformed global geography, economics, and cultural exchange. The age of exploration was not just about mapping new lands, it was about knitting together the continents through trade and exchange. It was about the human spirit of curiosity and the relentless quest for knowledge. The age of exploration, a period of discovery and colonization, reshaped the world, knitting together continents through trade and exchange. In the year 1517, 
Martin Luther initiated a movement that would create a seismic shift in religious belief, the Protestant Reformation. This was more than a mere religious schism. It was a revolution that marked the end of the religious hegemony of the Roman Catholic Church in Europe. Martin Luther, a German monk, challenged the church's practices with his 95 Theses, which questioned the sale of indulgences, a common practice of the church to absolve sins. This sparked a wave of reformist thought that led to the emergence of Protestantism, a new branch of Christianity. The Protestant Reformation had profound implications not just in the realm of religion, but also in the political and social landscapes of Europe. It heralded an era of religious freedom, allowing people to break away from the orthodoxies of the Roman Catholic Church and choose their own paths of faith. The Protestant Reformation, a call for religious freedom and reform, forever changed the religious landscape of Europe. Between 1775 and 1783, a struggle for independence from British rule was fought, resulting in the creation of a new nation, the United States of America. This was not merely a war between two nations, but a conflict of ideologies. The American Revolution was a revolt against the monarchy, a fight for freedom and self-governance. The 13 colonies under the banner of unity and liberty rose against the mighty British Empire. It was a bold stand, a daring act of defiance. It was a pivotal moment in world history, inspiring democratic movements globally. The echoes of We the People reverberated across the oceans, reaching every corner of the globe. The revolution was more than just a war. It was the birth of a new political order, the dawn of democracy. The American Revolution, a testament to the power of the people, birthed a nation that would become a beacon of democracy worldwide. The years between 1939 and 1945 saw the world engulfed in a conflict of unprecedented scale, World War II. Major powers, including Nazi Germany, the Soviet Union, the United States and Japan, found themselves locked in a devastating battle, the likes of which humanity had never seen before. The war brought forth cataclysmic destruction, altering the lives of millions and etching indelible scars on the face of nations. Cities were reduced to ruins, economies crumbled and countless lives were lost. Yet amidst the ashes, the world began to reshape itself. The aftermath of World War II saw a shift in global power. The United States and the Soviet Union emerged as the new superpowers, their ideological differences setting the stage for the Cold War. World War II, a grim reminder of the horrors of war, reshaped the world, leading to the emergence of new superpowers and the creation of a new world order. In the mid-20th century, a movement emerged in the United States, aiming to end racial segregation and discrimination, the Civil Rights Movement. This was not just a period, but a turning point in American history, a time when African Americans rallied together, demanding equal rights and an end to racial discrimination. Their fight was not in vain. It led to significant legal and social reforms, changing the face of America forever. The Civil Rights Act of 1964, a milestone in this struggle, outlawed discrimination based on race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. This was a monumental step towards a more equal society, a society where everyone, regardless of their race, could enjoy the same rights and privileges. In essence, the civil rights movement was not just about civil rights. It was about human rights, about dignity, about justice. It was about creating a world where everyone had an equal chance to succeed. The civil rights movement, a struggle for equality and justice, forever changed the social landscape of America. On September 11, 2001, a series of coordinated terrorist attacks on the United States shook the world. The day started like any other Tuesday, but by its end, the world as we knew it had changed irrevocably. The audacious attacks resulted in the destruction of the iconic World Trade Center in New York City, leaving a scar on the city's skyline and the nation's heart. This was no ordinary act of aggression. It was a meticulously orchestrated assault that transcended borders, causing significant damage beyond the immediate physical destruction. The repercussions of this horrifying event were felt worldwide, casting a long shadow over global security and policy. In the wake of these attacks, the United States, backed by its allies, initiated the War on Terror, a global military, political and ideological campaign 
that sought to dismantle terrorist organizations and eliminate their influence. The September 11th attacks, a tragic day in history, forever changed the world's approach to security, leading to a 